Hey friends! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make bows. There's a lot of different ways to make bows, but these three techniques are my go-to, and they're pretty easy. I gave them all names. The first one I call a trifold bow, the second a sandwich bow, and the third a twin tails bow. And you'll see why I named them this way soon here. Let's get started. With a rectangle shaped piece of fabric, fold it in half lengthways. and sew across the bottom edge. Next, turn it inside out. Lay the fabric down so that the seam is in the middle. Take one of the raw edges and fold it towards the center and the other and fold it towards the center. This is where this bow gets its namesake. Make sure that the two ends are slightly overlapping each other. Now carefully make little folds in the fabric starting from the center. And hold that tight with your finger so it doesn't get undone. Next, we're gonna secure it with some hand sewing. The fabric I chose for this bow was really thick, so I had a really hard time getting the needle through, as you can see. When that happens, I get my handy dandy little pliers. They help to pull the needle through when they're getting stuck in the fabric. And this saves my fingers a lot. <laughs> After you've secured the folds with hand sewing, wrap the rest of the thread around the center about four to six times. And finish it off with a knot. And now for the finishing touch. Take a much smaller rectangle piece of fabric and fold the two long edges towards the center. Now hold that tight. Wrap it around the center of the bow. Be careful that the folds don't get undone. Pro tip. Before you do this step, make sure you get your uh, thread and needle ready to hand sew, so that makes your life a little bit easier. Fold the remaining end of the strip underneath itself to hide the raw edge. And then we're going to hand sew it down to secure it. And there you have it, a perfect little bow. That's just one way of making a bow. Now let's move on to the sandwich bow. Fold a roughly square shaped piece of fabric in half. This is why I call this bow the sandwich bow because you fold it in half kind of like a sandwich. Then sew along the three raw ends, leaving a little bit of room in the middle that is not sewn. That little space is returning the bow right side out later. First, before we do that, we need to clip the corners so that the edges of the bow are crisp.
Next, like the trifold bow, fold little divots starting from the center and hold that tight. Hand sew that just like the bow before. And wrap the remaining thread around it four to six times. Then secure it with a knot. Also like the bow before, take a small rectangle shaped piece of fabric, pull the two ends in the center, and wrap it around the middle of the bow. And that's how you make the sandwich bow. Now finally the twin tails bow. Have a long strip of fabric and fold it in half. And sew along the raw bottom edge. Leave a little bit of space in the center unsewn just like the time before. With the two raw edges, sew diagonally to make a point. Cut off the excess fabric on the ends. Uh, clip as close to the seam as you feel comfortable. The closer it is, the sharper it'll look. Now fold it inside out. I find that I need a, whatchamacallit thingy, the turner inside outer stick. I don't know what you call that thing. <laughs> anyway, I find that I need that with this one because the tube is very long. And iron it flat. Once you've ironed it, Fold it so that the two ends overlap each other and point slightly downwards. For this bow, it's harder to fold the little grooves. So what I do is I make the grooves with the needle and thread first. And then once I pull the thread through, it folds. You can see it up close here. Sew through those folds a few times. Then wrap the excess thread around the center. And finish it off with a knot. And I broke my needle. I don't know where the pointy end went. It's still in my carpet somewhere. It's fine. There you go, a twin tails bow.